What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can control and customize Keyshot's user interface to best suit your needs. Keyshot's interface is easy and intuitive to use and provides full customizability tailored to your specific needs. With the startup workspace open, you can interact with the ribbon located just above the real-time view and the toolbar located just below. By right-clicking the bottom toolbar, you can choose between three icon sizes and toggle text on and off in the same manner you would the ribbon at the top. Currently, we are using the startup workspace, but I personally prefer to use the default workspace for most projects. If you'd like to easily toggle between different workspaces, navigate to the workspace dropdown on the far left of the ribbon and select between the eight preset options in the list. This list also allows you to add custom workspaces, make changes, and manage existing workspaces, and at the bottom of the list, you can change between light and dark mode. I'm currently using dark mode because of personal preference, but typically light mode will be the default mode set. As you can see, there are several different windows and configurations offered as preset options through the workspace dropdown. Any of these configurations can be further adjusted to better suit your personal needs or workspaces can be built entirely from scratch. Keyshot's interface allows for docking and undocking of panels and windows, and allows users to move those panels and windows into any location they prefer. Panels can be stacked on top of each other, as well as beside one another, and they can also be undocked and left to float freely in the program window. This makes optimizing workspaces and tools incredibly easy for any project, no matter how big or small. If you've created a workspace that you're particularly partial to, go to the workspace dropdown, select Add, and name your new workspace. Once added, it can then be accessed in the workspace dropdown, just like all existing preset options. If on the other hand, you wanted to delete a workspace, you would open the workspace manager, select the desired workspace, and click on the trash can icon. In this window, you can also import existing workspaces, export current workspaces, and revert workspaces to their default settings. Keyshot workspaces are highly individualistic, and what works for one person may not be the best solution for another. I highly recommend taking the time to explore the different workspaces and windows available in each, and figure out which configurations help make your experience as efficient and hassle-free as possible. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.